All right, so we are back for part two here. And now we're going to use Darren of the Yawning Portal and Passionate Archaeologist. So I have a poll coming up pretty soon. And I want to know y'all's opinion. Uh, what deck do y'all want to see me do a gameplay test hand on? I have the Necrons, Precon Lorehold, Boosted Mishra, who's a little worse for wear, but is one of my favorite, favorite decks to play. Or Rebellion Rising from earlier this year. Let me know when the poll goes up. It'll be going up within a few hours from now, so... Let me know what you want to see a gameplay mock battle of. Alrighty, so with that out of the way, let's draw a hand of seven cards and get this game going. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. Oh yeah, there's no way I need to mulligan this hand. Let us get this going. Alright, so draw our card for turn. We are going to play a Castle Embrith tapped and pass. We're going to untap, oh, keep draw. Play a mountain, then we're going to spend two. We're going to cast Passionate Archaeologist. Commander creatures you own have, whenever you cast a spell from exile, this creature deals damage equal to that spell's mana value to target opponent. Which is very, very nice. And we're going to pass the turn. Come back to us. It'll untap, upkeep, nothing will trigger, draw. Play my land for turn. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one to suspend ten Greater Gargadon. Should have done that last turn, but oh well. Alright, so now we're just going to pass the turn from here. So, untap, upkeep, draw. Going to play a forest, and I'm going to spend a four to cast Darnan of the Yawning Portal. And I will pass the turn. Tap, upkeep, nothing will trigger. Uh, upkeep, yeah. Put a nine, then I will draw. Play Blighted Woodlands. My land for turn. Then I'm going to spend four mana. I'm going to cast Tectonic Giant. Go to combat. I will attack with Darnan of the Yawning Portal. Now I shall look at the top four cards of my library. One, two, three, four. You may exile a creature card from among them, then put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may cast it. That spell has Undaunted. It costs one less for each opponent you have. Uh, I currently do not have any creatures in this. This was the four cards I would have never had a creature for. So those will all go on the bottom. And then I shall pass the turn. Now, one tap. Upkeep, that'll go down to eight. I shall draw my card for turn. Ooh, well, okay. So now I will play my land for turn. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Well. Okay, then. Anything we have here, we're just going to play at max value because we don't actually have an opponent. So... Let us spend three for a Jessica's Will. And since I both own my control, uh, I control my commander, I get to choose both. So we're going to add seven mana to our mana pool. So I know this is a bit ridiculous, but since I don't have an opponent, anything that requires us having an opponent uh, will just be at max value. So I'll add seven red mana, and I'll exile the top three cards of my library. One. Two. Oh, please, no whiff. Oh, no, it's a whiff. <sighs> so I had seven red mana, so I have 11 mana in my hand. <sighs> wow, that was sad for Jessica's will. All right. So now what's going to happen here? Oh, our numeral max value for our opponents is 7, so... Alright. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to spend all 7...
red mana. Oh no! So hold up, we're just gonna do it like this, so that we actually have stuff to do. All right, so now I'm going to cast an Azurius Predation. So now I will get 7 times 3, that'll be 21 lovely, lovely Phyrexian Beasts. Ye. So we're going to do this. Grab one of those. Do 20 and 1. Alright. And now the better thing here is, is we're going to sacrifice 10 of those. So we're just going to go down to 11, or we're going to do 8 of those. Going to do 8 of those. So we're at 21 minus 8, that'll bring us down to 13. So now we're just going to get and cast the Greater Gargadon from Exile up, hang its mana cost. Uh, and I'm going to zap my opponent for 10 damage. One of my opponents for 10 damage. So, there we go. And now I shall pass the turn and it'll go, actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and pass. I'll untap, upkeep, nothing shall trigger, and I will draw my card for turn. Well, okay. All right, so I will. Spin five, cast a battle mammoth, then I'll go to combat, and I will attack with Darnin, Tectonic Giant, uh, let's see, a bunch of those, Phyre all of those Phyrexian Beasts, uh, 13 times 4, so 12, 4, four. power piece. That is 52 damage. Yeah, it's 52. Alright, Greater Gargadon. That can't attack, so 52. 61. 64. 67. That's enough to, that's enough to kill two players, so I am pretty satisfied with this outcome. This is going to be a rather short video. Alrighty, so there is our killing board state. Alrighty, so that was our second game of the two versions of Commanders from Exit from Exile. I think Faldhorn did a really good job uh, with her game. Or his, his or her game, I don't know. But I think Dernan of the Yawning Portal and Passionate Archaeologist did uh just a hair bit better it's only saving grace was the phyrexian what was the uh i gotta remember i gotta remember its name now i just i just played it i just played it what, what was its name uh azarius predation i feel like it's only saving grace was azarius predation uh, but Voldhorn just out here getting value town whenever the deck started kicking off. Uh, I have played a few games with this deck already, uh, and I will say as a base pre-con with Voldhorn as the commander, you are winning some games. You are winning some games, unless they are competitive players. Uh, but as the base pre-con, this deck does well on its own. Uh, and I feel like it does even better with, uh, Voldhorn... I, I, I can't speak. I feel like it does better with Faldorn than it does with Darnan and Passionate Archaeologist. Uh, but let me know what y'all think uh, about these two versions of Commanders in the comments down below. Gotcha. I'm baiting y'all to uh, interact with me in the comments. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, besides the point, let me know what y'all think uh, does better for y'all in terms of Gruel Commanders. I feel like Faldorn personally is the better Faldorn, uh, better Faldorn, is the better Gruul commander for this deck. Uh, now Grumgully is in here as well. Grumgully doesn't really do much except for give additional counters. Uh, but yeah, there, that's pretty much all I have to say here. 
for this deck. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming out coming soon. Uh, other than that, this is Spongebob Prime signing out. Peace.